of the book is got us mentioned in the book of Acts. Ten. She said Acts 10. It's not correct. She's not mentioned in Acts chapter 10. Amen. From chapter 2. Esther is she's mentioned in Acts chapter 9 from verse 30 something. 37, I guess. Amen. Where's your from verse 3 yeah. somebody confirmed that I don't know that Amen. Chapter one. Chapter one. let's have a verse praise the Lord it's from Luke chapter 2 Luke chapter 2 so um, doctors let's start for doctors as she go sit down and Elizabeth let's start for them we are going to last round now Give us a quote from your character in the book. Something your character said. It may not be, you may give us Lola's version. It's okay. It doesn't have to be King James. Give us a quote from your character. A quote from your character. Gather the people to pray for me as I go to the presence of God that they should go on three days fasting. That was Esther telling Mordecai that they should go and pray and fast before they go to the king. Okay. Esther talked about people should go fasting. She doesn't have to be yes, 100%. Let's start for her. Amen. What did Abigail say? Something Abigail said in the Bible. Abigail only there with King David when he, when he threatened the family and he said, Oh, thou my Lord, hold thy anger that you might not shed blood. Something like that. Amen. At least we try. Let's start with them. Amen. Praise the Lord. In Ruth chapter 1, verse 6, Ruth told the now the mother in law that entreat me not to go behind. Wherever you go, I will go. Wherever you watch, I will watch. Your people will be my people. Your, your God will be my God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Give us a brief. Two, one minute. We need somebody else from Dockers also and Elizabeth. Just one minute about your character. These people already have, uh, I hope I still have three left. So want, just a brief about your character, who your character is. My character is Esther. Esther was a niece to Mordecai. Mordecai was uh, um, a gate man in the king palace. And there was a time in the land of uh, that king, the king wanted to show off his wealth to the nation and he wanted to show uh, want his wife, Vatshi, to come out, but she refused. So the elder around the king said, if the Vatshi can refuse, that will give the women of the land to refuse the order of their husband. So by that, Vatshi was displaced for, from her throne and they want to get another wife for the king. That's when they bring all the lady and they prepare them. And Esther happened to be there. And Esther was prepared. Eventually she was chosen by following the instruction of the maiden preparing them. At that time there was a uh, there was a man. That's okay. Thank you so much. God bless you. She was full of wisdom. When uh, David threatened her family, when the husband was foolish and spoke, uh, uh, he was not nice to the man of God. Abigail was able to plead for her family. She was a, a woman that was well organized. When uh, King David needed supplies, she already had everything in stock in her household. She didn't have to go and look for them. So she quickly gathered her servants and passed every time to saddle her donkey and went to David. And pleaded with King David in her wisdom. She was able to make David and bend the anger of King David for her children. Hey, let's clap for her. Please, the children.
meals are ready, the children pizza is ready. We need two women to help us with the children's meals. Thank you. Let the children start having their pizzas. Amen. Praise the Lord.